everyone, it's Nishat from Nishi Cake, and today we are animating in Clip Studio Paint Pro. So, as some of you might know, if you're familiar with my channel, that my preferred program as of right now is Clip Studio Paint Pro. It's also gone by the name Manga Studio. Um, I don't know which version, but I know that it's been commonly referred to as that. So, I've been using Clip Studio as a program for illustration because that's what I mainly do. I don't really animate and I don't really draw comics. It's just not my thing. But also, I just didn't know because no one really told me, no one really taught me how to use the program. I just kind of figured it out. But I was on the internet and I was reading a blog and it mentioned that this program has an animation feature and so I had to test it out. So in this video, I'm drawing Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls crying after she gets upset about something. I don't know what she's upset about, why she's crying, but she is. And I just had so much fun with this animation. Like Clip Studio in general is just really intuitive and easy to understand. And that goes for um, the animation feature as well. So how it starts off is you create a timeline and within that timeline, you can create multiple animation folders. And then inside the folders, you create animation cells, which are the individual keyframes on which you draw the actual animation, if that makes sense. So here I made one animation folder and that was all my sketches. And then I made another one on top of that and that was all the line art, which is what I'm doing right now. And it was a little bit tedious, but then again, Clip Studio has frame by frame animation. There isn't any automatic in-betweening or tweening or whatever it's called. It's all done by hand, which I actually kind of prefer because I feel like maybe if I knew how to animate on a more advanced level, I would probably appreciate tweening, but because I don't know anything about animation really, it's kind of just harder for me to understand. But anyways, I did the same for all the colors. So for each um, new set of colors, I created another animation folder and colored it in. I created each animation cell with each new frame um, corresponding with the line art and my sketch and things like that. So I worked in little sections. I did like a bunch of the line art, then I did a bunch of the skin colors and then all that. It was really fun and really like easy, honestly. Because I've animated in GIMP before where you had to draw your entire image and then make another layer on top of it and redraw the entire thing again. Um, which in essence is the same thing that I'm doing here but there is no onion skinning effect. Because that's, I feel like that's the most important part, most important feature that Clip Studio offers. So I really enjoyed I thought it was super awesome and impressive. Um, the only downside is that I can only make one second of animation because Clip Studio Paint Pro doesn't have the full animation features that's available in Clip Studio Paint EX. And I might actually get that because I figured out that I really like animation. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do some kind of review on it. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, here I am doing the shading and I'm you know, adding in some little details and whatnot. It's really fun, honestly, like animation. I didn't think that I would like it this much, but I like really, really do. And that's how I made the final animation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please make sure you like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.